الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم الخير بك نستعين يا فتاح رب اشرح صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني يفقى قولي قال الله تعالى وسيق الذين كفروا إلى جهنم زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها فتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها وقال لهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم رسل منكم يتلون عليكم آيات ربكم وينذرونكم لقاء يومكم هذا قالوا بلى ولكن حقت كلمة العذاب على الكافرين قيل دخلوا أبواب جهنم خالدين فيها فبئس مثوى المتكبرين وسيق الذين اتقوا ربهم إلى الجنة زمرا حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم فدخلوها خالدين صدق الله العظيم إن شاء الله the verses that I wanted to discuss first we'll go over the translation in Allah because the translation is it's very straightforward, but there's a few points I want to just pick out and talk about from the translation, inshallah, from, from the verse. And this is the last page of Surah Zumar, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He describes the outcome for the people of Jahannam and the outcome for the people of Jannah and their route to their destination. Okay, so the route to Jannah and the route to Jahannam. It's one of my favorite verses, favorite uh, you know pages in the Quran. Before I even knew the meaning, huh? before I actually even learned the meaning, but once I learned the meaning, even more, even more. And it's it's hajib because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uses the exact same words for both individual, both groups in the beginning, exact same terms. Okay, and then. You'll see this concept of comparison people of Jannah versus people of Jahannam. No. Muslims versus non Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, khawf and raja. He, ta- he does this a lot in the Quran, where he talks about one side and then the other side. Jannah, Jahannam, Muslim, non Muslims. Okay? Khawf and raja. He does this quite a bit to strike that, that, that balance that we need to have in our life. So starting off with the people of Jahannam, starting off with the non-Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَاقَ huh? سَاقَ يَسُوقُ Literally means to drive. Okay, سَاقَ Drive. Okay, driver. So وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا The people of uh, disbelief, the people of kufr, they will be driven uh, to Jahannam. They will be driven to Jahannam. حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءُوهَا and once they reach there, its gates are going to be opened. وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا The gatekeepers, which are the malaika, the angels, they will say, أَلَمْ يَأْتِيكُمْ رُسُولُمْ Didn't any angels, uh, sorry, didn't any messengers come to you people? Like you guys are coming to Jahannam. Did, weren't there any messengers that came to you? يَأْتِلُونَ عَلَيْكُمْ آيَاتِ رَبِّكُمْ You know, أَلَمْ يَأْتِيكُمْ رُسُولُمْ مِنْكُمْ Weren't there any messengers from your own, from your own tribe and from your own clan? that came with the divine message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reading Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words to you, warning you about this day that's happened to you. Didn't, didn't somebody come? It's a day of judgment. They can't lie anymore. They've been lying the entire time. But they, this, is a, this, is, this is when they're about to be placed into, they know where they're going to be placed in Jahannam. They said, Qadu Bada, most definitely. They did come. They did come. وَلَكِنْ حَقَّتْ كَلِمَةُ الْعَذَابِ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ But the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of punishment has come upon the disbelievers. Then it will be said to them, قِيلَ ادْخُلُوا أَبْوَابَ جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا That it's going to be said to them that enter to Jahannam forever. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا It's not, you know, for 10 days, for one year, two years, forever. You had the most worst, you committed the worst crime and that's of kufr. That's the single greatest crime that you could commit. All the other sins, but they're possible to be forgiven. But kufr, no. 
that's a single crime that's not going to be forgiven. Disbelieving in Allah SWT, not believing that Allah SWT is Allah, that's kufr. You cannot, you cannot do that. Okay. فَبِئْسِمَتْ وَالْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ Wretched is the, the residence of those that were arrogant. Because that, that's what they were. They were arrogant, right? They're showing arrogance that Allah SWT is not, Allah SWT is not the Creator. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is not the Lord, and there's not one Lord. Okay, so that's the translation of, of that verse. We'll talk. We'll talk about a few points, inshallah, about that in a minute. We'll come back to them. Now, how about the believers? Again, same word. That the people of taqwa, those that, that feared Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, they will be driven. Same word to Jannah. Okay. Hatta idha jauha, when they come to it, exact same words. وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا One little letter difference. The wow is there. There's a little wow there. Okay. وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا While its gates were already opened. While the gates were already opened. وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُهَا وَقَالَ لَهُمْ خَزَنَتُهَا Again, Jahannam had its gatekeepers, had malaika in, in, at, at that gate. Jannah also has khazana, also has its gatekeepers, also malaika. Okay. What do they say? They said, Salamun Alaikum. They said, Salam. That's why when we say Salam, this is, when we say it's from Jannah, this is what we're talking about. It's from Jannah. Okay, when we say Salam to a fellow brother, to a fellow sister, we're saying Salam. And yani, this is the greetings of peace. This is the greetings of a Muslim to another Muslim. Doesn't matter what color they are, doesn't matter what race they belong to, doesn't matter how tall or how skinny they are. This is the greetings of Salam that we give to each other. طِبْتُمْ فَدْخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ That you, that's, you know, say, saying salam to you, you are pure, so enter into Jannah forever. Just like how they were told to enter into Jahannam forever, these people of taqwa enter into Jannah forever. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي صَدَقَنَا وعدا. And then they will say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has fulfilled our promise. وَأُورَثَنَا الْأَرْضِ And he, he had allowed us to inherit the earth. Keep in word, we're going to, Talk about some of these terms. Awratha. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about? We use the word wiratha. Inherit. Inheritance, you know, when somebody passes away, then our money goes to, you know, for example, our children. That's what wiratha is. That's what inheritance is. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used that word. الأرض, that we inherit in this land of Jannah. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use that? We'll talk about that. نَتَبَوَّأُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ Wherever, wherever we will. حَيْثُ نَشَاء Okay. We may settle in paradise wherever we will. حَيْثُ نَشَاء فَنِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ And excellent is the reward of these righteous individuals. وَتَرَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ حَافِينَ مِنْ حَوْلِ الْعَرْشِ يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ You're going to see angels surrounding the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will they be doing? Remember the angels are created for what? Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24-7. يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ They're going to be doing tasbih of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ And their judgment, yani the people who are going to be placed in Jannah, their judgment was, was done with justice. بالحق. Okay. And it will be said, الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ right? We say this every single time in Surah Fatiha. So they're going to say, All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the world. Now, I want to take some points, inshallah, from here. Just to give you a brief overview, that's why we did that in the beginning. Let's talk about wasiqa الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا What does it mean when these people of Jahannam, they will be driven towards Jahannam? Well, what, what, what these people of Jahannam, what does it mean when they're going to be driven? It means that they're going to be forcefully taken, like how you see, so you know, when, when, when a prisoner is, you have a chain around their neck, or you have a slave around their neck, they're, they're, they're taken and they're dragged in front of the king, and they're going to be driven and kicked all the way until Jahannam. So they're going to be dragged and chained all the way until Jahannam. That's what it means driven. Okay, that's what Saqa Yasuqa means over there. Now, how about the same terminology used for the people of Jannah? Saqa Yasuq, again. Wasiqa الَّذِينَ taqaw. What does it mean over there? Over there. Saqa Yasuq. Remember also we talked about to, to ride. Okay. So, these individuals, they are not going to 
have to necessarily walk because walking is kind of you know it's a little hard huh? those of you for example you went to Hajj Yashal, like, you know when you walk to Jamarat it's, it's a little difficult sometimes huh? as opposed to somebody who's getting a ride or you have an airport and you have somebody walking from one terminal to another terminal as opposed to those individuals that are mashallah on those carts huh? just walking you know on, on you know when they get they get a ride they get a free ride you know, mashallah I wish I was on those right we always wish that huh? yes, yes those are fun sometimes but we're going back to our point huh? going back so لا يذهب بهم إلا راكبين. They would go. They're gonna go riding. What type of ride? Allah alam. Allah alam. What type of ride? They're gonna be. But they're gonna be on a ride. They're gonna be relaxing. Okay. So they're gonna be driven in the sense that they're gonna be relaxing, relaxing. And Allah subhanahu wa taala is gonna take them. You know, they're not gonna need to worry about anything. They're not going to need to walk. They're not going to need to. They're going to have, mashallah, some type of, you know, nice AC or whatever you want to call it, mashallah. Nice, comfortable, luxurious ride, taking them to this Darul Karama, to this honorable abode. Okay, just like how you see, you know, uh, judge, you, just like how you see respectable kings, you know, uh, they're sitting on the back and somebody else is driving the car. Or you have the president and they're just sitting in the back and somebody's driving the car. Okay, this is how they'll be honored. This is how these people of Jannah will be driven towards Jannah. Okay. <coughs> now, it's it's ajib because one one other point that I wanted to make is we you know in our Fajr Fajr talks when we're reading from Arba'in and Nawi we're talking about how uh, the Prophet Sallallahu is discusses. How we as Muslims should have love for one another. That none of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. So you're going to see true love then as well. Why? Because al mahabba wa sadaqa baqiyatun bayn al muttaqin. The people of taqwa, they're still going to have mahabba. They're still going to have love and, and, and honor towards one another. Even on the day of judgment. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al Akhilla Uyama Yidim Ba'duhum li Ba'din Aduun illa al Muttaqeen. Friends are gonna hate you're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be enemies of one another. Yeah, on the day of judgment, friends, even family members, they're, they're gonna be enemies of they're not gonna want they're not gonna care about your you know your brother, your sister, you're not gonna care about them. Illa al Muttaqeen. Except those that are that have taqwa. They're gonna still care about each other. That's the you know khasiyah. And that's the whole spirit of Ramadan, right? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So you obtain a taqwa. And it's going to be said, فَإِذَا قِيلَ لِوَاحِدٍ مِّنْهُمْ It's going to be said to them, hey, why aren't you going to Jannah? You have the ticket. Like you already have the, you know, the boarding pass. Why aren't you, why aren't you going to Jannah? Yeah? What are you waiting for? So he's going to say, فَيَقُولُ لَا أَدْخُلُهَا حَتَّى يَدْخُلُهَا الْأَحِبَّائِ وَأَسْدِقَائِ Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going until my friends and my beloveds come, come as well. The other muttaqeen. The other people that have taqwa. I'm not going until then. فَيَتَأَخَّرُونَ لِهَذَا السَّبَبِ So they're going to delay. They're going to Jannah because of their friends. They're waiting for their friends. They're waiting for their beloveds. Okay. فَحِينَ إِذِنْ يَحْتَاجُونَ إِلَىٰ أَنْ يُسَاقُوا إِلَىٰ الْجَنَّةِ And it's that, for that reason, Allah SWT is going to have to kind of, you know, nudge them, drive them to Jannah. Because these individuals were going, they're waiting for their friends. Huh? They're waiting for the friend. So Allah SWT is going to say, okay, let's go. You know, you know, let you, they'll come when they need to come. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. So that's what means uh, dri driving them to Jannah. Oh, I mean, it's amazing, right? Amazing. You, you, you read these, uh, what, the, what the, you know, Allah SWT is going to grant us. Allah, you know, Allah SWT make us from the muttaqeen. Now, what aspect of awrath and al ard Remember we talked about, we are going to inherit the, the land. What does that mean? One of the meanings that we can possibly take is that land obviously is referring to Jannah. That when you go to Jannah, the people of Jannah are going to be saying that we inherit in this land. How, how, why, why this aspect of inheritance? What, what does inheritance mean? Why? Because remember when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Adam and Hawa alayhi salam, وَكُلَا مِنْهَا رَغَدًا حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا That you eat there as freely as, as possible. So Adam and Hawa, right, our mother and our father, they were there. They were there in, in, in Jannah. And who are we? We're their children. Okay, we are their children. 
So due to that reason, due to that reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this is inheritance. You came to Jannah now. Your, your parents were already in Jannah. So this is the inheritance of your parents. Huh? This is the inheritance of your parents where they used to be. Okay? Where they used to be. Okay. So this is what Allah, what is kind of what, what, what the meaning is of, of, of inheriting uh, Jannah. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بالحق. What does it mean when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the people of Jannah, they, they, they came and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He uh, d- decreed in a just fashion. What does that mean? That these people in Jannah, as you know, there are different levels in Jannah. Not everybody's going to be on one level. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Adi. He is the most just. So how did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show His justness? That they're going to be in their specific ranks, they're going to be in their specific levels in Jannah. فَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِّنْهُمْ فِي دَرَجَاتِ الْمَعْرِفَةِ وَالطَّاعَةِ حَدٌ مَحْدُودٌ لَا يَتَجَاوَزُ وَلَا يَتَعَدَّاهُ That everybody will be according to where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to place them. No way is it going to be, you know, in a higher rank. They're going to be according to wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to place them, they're going to be there. It's not going to be decreased because, you know, so-and-so is, is of this color or so-and-so is of that color, so-and-so is from that race. No, they're going to be placed according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deems fit and they will be placed there. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ And what will they say? الحمد لله رب العالمين Okay, they're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the Lord of the world. Now, what do, what do we mean? That they're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Don't you have to be very careful in how you read this. They're praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huh? not for where He placed him in Jannah. Huh? Not where He placed him in Jannah. Because that would mean that they're just placing, they're just uh, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the blessing that He has given them. But we we don't we don't just show our hamd to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when He gives us something. No, we show our ham to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He's the Lord of the world. That would be incorrect for us to just praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only when He gives us something. It's like, you, you, you know, your friend, for example, he gives you something, then you're like, oh man, now he's my friend. Before he gave me something, he wasn't my friend. He wasn't my friend, I didn't know who he was. Until you do something for me, then, then you become my friend. No, 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 that's, that's not the mindset that they had. That's not the mindset. No, they, they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because He was the Rabbul Alameen. That's why they praised Allah. He was the Lord of the world. Okay? He was the Lord of the world. And they didn't praise Him necessarily for that blessing. Because remember, our praise is just not enough anyways. Our thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not enough. So we are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He is the Lord of the world. Okay, and that's going to bring us under this umbrella of uh, Tawheed and, and the oneness of Allah SWT. So we ask Allah SWT to make us from amongst the muttaqeen. We ask Allah SWT to allow us to be driven to Jannah and not Jahannam. Subhanahu rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.